All right, so we're about to get on I-55 north to St. Louis, which is going to cross the smaller of the two bridges. The bridge, the big bridge is back open again. And the reason we're crossing this bridge is because in Dixie's book, they talk about her and Elvis crossing this bridge to West Memphis, Arkansas, or Arkansas, as it were. So we just want you to see what that would look like. And then we're going to run up into Arkansas and see what we can see. Are you with us to Arkansas? I just bet you are. <laughs> Dude just sitting there. That stuff trips me out. So you see the trains right there going. I hear that train a coming. That train looked like it was coming and going. And then the new bridge is far to our right, and you'll see a sign up here that says, Welcome to Arkansas, the natural state of affairs. I threw up affairs in there. I was able to cross this bridge right here, no doubt. To our left is Lake McKellar, where Elvis was skiing on the ski boat. I wouldn't ski out in there now. Unless you want some sort of disease. Why is that? It looks like you saw the videos. It looks terrible. So we're across the bridge now. We're in Arkansas. Not Kansas. In Arkansas. I'm saying slow down Memphis still. This is West Memphis. Let's get it right. And you'll see a sign on our right up here that says Welcome to West Memphis. And back in the day they'd say Memphis. Welcome to West Memphis. So there's a sign that says West Memphis, Arkansas. It went by fast. So friends, I'm in West Memphis, Arkansas. This is the road that Elvis would have traveled when they were in the army when he was heading. The coffee cup is gonna be down here. What we wanted to show you was this theater right here, what it used to be, right there where that Sonic is at. This is at the corner of South Roads and what is this, Broadway? Broadway and South Roads. Wanted to tell you that you'll find on the internet where they say that Elvis played right here and that is not factual. Did not happen. But the theater was right there. The photo that you see with West behind Elvis did not happen here. So friends, this right here is the Regions Bank. We're on Broadway. This is West Memphis, Arkansas. Where Elvis was at the coffee cup was right across the street. Y'all saw that video. In fact, in the coffee cup, you can actually see this building right here in the background, the Power and Light Company. So it's always been said that Elvis played at KEM Radio, which would have been in this building right here. The problem is, is KEM Radio moved to Memphis in 1951. Elvis was definitely not at this building playing. And it says right here, if you'll read right there, it says Elvis even made an early appearance on KWEM before he visited Sun Records. I don't think so. It says Johnny Cash. It talks about Junior Parker. And it talks about 1949 to 1952. This was no longer a studio here, or either it was KEAM. According to Ronald Smith that played at both of these places back in the day, he said that Elvis would not have played here. He would have been at KEAM, which would have been in Memphis at the Quonset Hut. So let's go there and take a look. So we're saying right now that even though this thing says that, that it's not correct. This is not a place that Elvis would have played. He played in Memphis at the Quonset Hut. So friends, I'm going to show you this right here. You see it says August the 1st, 1954. 
Elvis played at West Memphis, Arkansas, KWEM Radio. We've got it on good authority that it would not have been West Memphis, Arkansas. It would have been this Quonset hut right here in Memphis. This is where KWEM Radio had moved to by that time. You see they have the radio tower there. This is a, a real working radio station. It's actually for lease. And it said in the information it was a Quonset hut. And this is no doubt a Quonset hut. Now they've added on to it, of course. It looks like it may be a studio back there. But we can place Elvis in this Quonset hut along with a lot of other musicians. Listen to Ronnie talk about what happened here. I'm showing that he played at uh, KWEM, you're saying, over at West, West Memphis? That... Uh, yeah, but he did not. I'm telling you that. I played there for years and years and played uh, over in Memphis. If he did, which I don't think, I think maybe it was KWAM when they moved over to down on Flicker Street. Okay, so and, yeah, uh, there was one here on Flicker. Uh, well, that was, uh, you see, the one in West Memphis, they moved from across the river. They moved to an office over on Flicker Street. Right. And uh, that's where, uh, I mean, I even rehearsed in there at night with a band. And uh, they closed uh, the uh, turn, I mean, back then. The radio station just weren't run to 8 or 9 o'clock, but we'd practice down there at night. And uh, anyway, that was with Eddie Bond. But, uh, that's 64 Flicker Street, South Flicker. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, that sounds about right. So, friends, we're in West Memphis, Arkansas. We're at the corner of Broadway and 14th. And I want to show you this. This is interesting right here. The Christmas Jamboree on P&G's West Memphis, Arkansas lot. 1403 Broadway. The phone number was four digits back then, 1567. Wednesday night, December the 8th, 1954, Elvis Presley with Texas Bill Strength and the Parker Brothers Band in a big two-hour show, music for everybody. Bargains for all low down payments and bank financing. We believe that it happened right here. We're finding aerials where you see cars all around in here in a used car lot. And there was a building that would have been right along in here that was probably the office, which would be 19... 03. Now it is, or 1403, I should say. Now it is 1418 or 1419. So a lot of things change over the years. And can you believe that that big truck stopped right there? What the? So anyway, before we were so rudely interrupted, we believe that it happened right here. You could see cars in the aerial. I'll show you sitting all around in here. You see an office over there. So it makes sense for it to be a different number if the building was here. This building was definitely not here in 1958. This would have been 54, so it had been prior to that aerial. But we believe that Elvis was here with Scotty and Bill playing on a flatbed in this parking lot, 1954, December. A short four years later, Elvis passed by here in the Army and stopped off at the coffee cup almost four years later, not quite. Wonder if he remembered playing here that day in the bus. So from the aerial, I believe that the house that we're seeing in the aerial was somewhere in this neighborhood right here, somewhere right around here. And then you see all the cars were more over on that side. So it makes sense for them to have the cars to show. You got an office, and then you got a place for the customers to park, pull up in here. But that building was definitely not there. But I believe if I'll show you the aerials, it was a building somewhere right around in here. And we're going to investigate it some more and be sure. But we feel like that this is actually where it happened at. And you can see that they buy used cars right here at the corner of 14th and Broadway, West Memphis, Arkansas. Yes, indeed. Bad credit, no credit, they can help. So friends, Trey did the homework on this and figured this story out. 
pretty crazy. West Memphis, Arkansas is that way. That's where the coffee cup is. That's where a lot of different things uh, happened. Elvis actually played there on a flatbed down there on the left. There was a drive-in movie theater right here and it was Dixie and her sister and Elvis and Gene Smith. Elvis got mad at Dixie and actually wouldn't get in the car at the movie and then hitchhike home. When they got back to Dixie's house, which is in Memphis, which is a good ways that way, he was waiting for her on the front porch. That happened right here. And I flew the glory over it and of course also go and look at Trace version of this story he has some more detail yes indeed he does happened right there friends elvis got mad and hitchhiked home from right here all the way back to memphis and when i say home to dixie's home all right so i want you to see right here now i was trying to make us go the other way but let's see how far it is destination 8.3 miles now it's trying to take us the long way so if you put lucy in let's see what our other choices are edit route we want to avoid upcoming roads well I don't know about that all right so just let me show you I'm gonna do this watch this Lucy Avenue it is six miles so Elvis hitchhike about six miles from here and uh, so we're gonna turn and go that way stay tuned so just imagine when they got back, Elvis was sitting on the front porch right here. The house would have kind of lined up with that one over there, somewhere in the middle of this parking lot. Elvis is sitting on the front porch waiting for him. And I wanted you to kind of get a feel for what it's like out here when it's dark. Of course, naturally we've got a lawnmower running. But that building, by the way, was right there. That building was built in 1946, so it was definitely there right across the street. Yeah. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.